you want to change this plain, boring text into something nice and fancy. Okay, this should be fairly quick. I'm not going to go into the animation, but just how to sort of set the text up. So come to your effects library, make sure it's turned on, come to titles and grab a text plus node and pop it onto your timeline. Put your playhead over your text plus node and go into Fusion. So in Fusion, we have our text node and we have our media out. The template is the text node. So we're going to set up our text node how we want it. You can set this up any way you want. Obviously you type in whatever text you wanted, but we'll stick with the default for the time being. Okay, the first thing we need to do is set up our actual text node. So come to the shading tab, come to select elements, go to number two and click enable. This puts a border around our text. What I'm going to do is crank it all the way up to point one and you can make it whatever color you want but for the time being I'm going to go with black. So that's our text set up. Now what we need to do is build the drop shadow. Now you can build a drop shadow. Let me just stick a background on this for a minute just so we can see what's happening. So you can build the drop shadow from within your shading tab. All you do is you come to elements, select three and enable, and you've got a little drop shadow. Now you can make that a hard shadow. And if we zoom in, we can now use the position to move that shadow and make it sort of bigger. Now the difficulty with the drop shadow is that you've only got literally one layer of shadow and you get this kind of bumpy thing and you don't get the nice smooth uh, shadow coming off your letters. So we won't use that. So just disable that. What we're going to do is we're going to build our own shadow. And the way we're going to do that is by taking a copy of our original text and duplicating it. So select your text or template node, press command or control C to copy it, click away and then press shift command or control and V. And this makes an instance, this makes an exact copy. And anything that we do to this text will affect your instance. So what we need to do is disconnect some of those links. So with our instance text selected, come to the shading tab and what we want to do is, whereas our original text is white with a black outline, we want to make our instance text all black. So we need to change the actual color of the text. So with your instance text selected, in the shading tab, change this to element one, which is our text color. Now anything that's got a green box around it is linked. So what we need to do is unlink this. So go to the word red, right click and come down and where it says D instance, we want D instance color group that unlinks all the colors. So now we can change the color of our text and we'll make it black. So now we end up with this. So this black text is underneath at the minute our proper text. So what we're going to do, take an output from your template and put it onto the output of the instance text. And we're just going to disconnect this for a minute and take the output of the merge either onto this merge, which we're just using for the background. It doesn't need to be there or onto your media out. So to get our shadow, what we're going to do is we're going to select the instance text. We're going to do a shift space bar and type duplicate. And we're going to bring a duplicate node into our flow. And it's this duplicate that's going to form our shadow. So select your duplicate node, 
come to your inspector. First thing you do, come to copies and make it 10. And now it's still in our duplicate node, come to the center, press and hold the control or command key. This will give you finer value movements and just slowly bring it up on the X and bring the Y down roughly the same until you can get the kind of look that you're going for. And now what you get if you look at the shadows is rather than the bump and then the shadow that we had earlier is you get this smooth edge and a solid shadow. And that's pretty much all there is to it. The only thing I did different is I set it up so that if you change this outline color, it also changes the shadow color. And we'll do that quickly. So to do that, what we need is to go into template or text plus whichever you have here. Come to the shading tab and go to element two. That's our outline color. And if you now click on each color in turn, right click. So right click and check publish on red, green and blue. And this puts little keyframe indicators here. So you know you've got it right. And now if we come to our instance, and this time we want element one because we want the color of the text to match the color of this outline. We can right click on red, green and blue and go to connect to templates and then the appropriate color. And now what we've done, if we come back to our template or original text node and we change shading element two, which is the outline, if we change the color, our shadow changes to match it. And then that allows you to pick whatever color you want. And you can still go to element one, which is your actual text, and change the color of that as well. Again, to whatever you want. And that's basically it. What you can do if you come back to the edit tab is that you still have all those controls here. So all you need to do is if you click and drag to your media pool, it drops a copy of your text node here. So you can then bring that back Put your playhead over your new text and then you can change that any way you want. And you can go into the shading tab and you've got your element one, which is your text color that you can change. You can go to element two, which is your outline and shadow and change. I think it's been funky because of the cache system. If you want to change the shadow length, you need to go back into Fusion and just select the duplicate node. And then you've got your center X and Y that you can offset to change your shadow. I hope that makes sense. Hope it's useful. Um, just a bit of something to do. Please feel free to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.